Hi guys, welcome to WebSense Pro with another feature release video. So Dawn 10.0.0 has been released on June 7, 2023. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through which latest feature they added. Most of them are related to animation. So if you want to learn, stick to the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. I'm putting out a lot of efforts to create these videos for you. So without further ado, let's jump into the screen. So guys, that's the backend of my development store and I have published Dawn 10.0.0 and these are the release notes of Dawn 10.0.0 as we can see uh, it's released on June 7, 2023. So one of the most important point which they have highlighted, these are the two points which they have highlighted and the first one is they have added animation on scroll. So if you scroll over any sections, you will see a fade animation. So that's the initial look of Dawn 10.0.0. And if I refresh it, you can see that the section was faded in. And when I scroll down, you can see that my sections are fading in as I scroll onto them. So that's the most important feature, one of the most important feature which they've added. And we can also disable it if you want to. So go to your uh, Shopify backend, click on customize. And from there, we have this theme settings icon. Click on that. And here we have this animation. Click on that. And that's the check mark, which where we can uh, disable the reveal section on scroll. So if I just uncheck it, hit save, go back to my store and hit refresh, you can see that now it's on nor normal behavior and not having a fade in animation when I scroll over. So that's one of the most important point, important feature which they have added. And now let's move on to this second one here. So in this point, they have added an option to con configure color scheme for your sections. So you can have multiple color scheme and then select them on section to section basis. So let me show you how it works. So let's go to customize by clicking on theme settings icon. You will have settings like this showing up. And here we have option of colors. So if I click on that, I have these five different color scheme which I can choose from. Each section will show up an option to change the color scheme. Now let me go to the sections. So let me open up that on new tab and click on sections where we have these home page sections showing up. So we have an announcement bar, we have header, then we have this image banner, right? So if I go to image banner, and scroll down, you can see that it's showing up the color scheme. I can change the color scheme as per my choice and configure those color scheme as per my theme, right? So let's switch our banner to scheme five. Now you can see that uh, the title color and the button background color, button text color has been changed as per scheme five. And in scheme five, if we go to customize and click on uh, scheme five, we have these colors defined on this scheme. So we can create multiple scheme. We can add more schemes here if you if, if we want to. And we can use these different color schemes for different sections. And uh, let's move on to the next point, which is this one. So that's the same uh, as this one. They have just uh, mention it on repeat. I don't know why they mention it again if they already mentioned it because that's the f uh, as same as the first point. When we go to any section, it will fade in, right? F slide in when the user scrolls. Okay. So that's another point, which is a uh, hover effect for buttons and card with 3D lift. So if I scroll down to the product card, you can see if we take our mouse to any of the product, it shows second hover, second image of that product. And that's how the effect, that's the default effect. Now they have added 
3D lift effect on top of that. So let's go to customize and from there, click on theme settings. And there we have animations once again, an animation feature. So in here we have this drop down. We can click on 3D lift and let's save and see how it changes our hover effect. So if I go back to my home page and hit refresh, and now if I take my mouse over to any of the product, you can see that it added the borders and 3D shiny effect if you look over it. I'll try to zoom in while editing the video so you guys can see that the 3D effect which they have added on the product card and to uh, buttons as well. They also added that for buttons. So button in buttons, I don't think it's really visible, but it's quite visible on product card. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next point because I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so that's another feature for animation. We can add an animation image with text and image banner section. So if we go to customize and if we go to our sections, that's our image banner. And here we have uh, this animation for image behavior, ambient movement, fixed background position. So let's try out uh, ambient movement and see how it looks. So as you can see, it's moving slightly. Now let's check out the second effect which they have added for our image behavior and animation and which is fixed background position. So if I click on fixed background position and scroll down, you can see that our image is static, but our website is scrolling down to the bottom. That's called by fixed background position, which we could easily do with CSS, but it's easy for users to have this option on the dropdown. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which is added option to change the shape of the product card images. So let's go back again to our customize and uh, click on this featured collection section. And if we check the setting of the featured collection section and scroll down, we have this option of image shape and we can change the image shape of our products. And it's pretty cool actually. I mean, it looks really nice if you try out some of the one. So click on arc, you can see that it added the round curvy border on top of all of the images. Again, you could easily do that with CSS, but if you didn't know how to code or anything uh, in CSS, then you can simply, it, it's better to have these option in UI of, of Shopify. Okay, let's try out some different features, blob. Okay, that's also really cool, nice. And if I hover over it, you can see that it's changing the shape, nice. That's looking really awesome. Okay, now uh, let's move on to the send a schedule, send and schedule a gift card to a recipient. So guys, in this feature, you can add an option on your gift card product to add the recipient email address and the schedule to send that gift card. So that's my gift card product on my store. Now, if I want to send this as a gift to someone, to my friend or to my family member, this is a check mark item which they've added recently on this Dawn 10.0.0 update. So you'll just check mark here and you'll have an option to add email a uh, name and optional uh, message to whoever you're sending this gift card to. And you can also add date that when do you want to send this gift card. And to enable this, you need to go to customize and on your gift card product, click on, uh, so you will see product information like this. And on product information, click on buy buttons. And from here, you have this option so if you enable it, you will see this check mark. So currently I have disabled and if I refresh, I won't see this check mark item. So I just refresh and you see that I don't have that check mark to add the recipient email and name and date 
of when do you want to send this gift as a car gift card to your uh, friend or family so if i just check mark it again and refresh my gift card product you can see that now i have now option to uh, option to send this as a gift to any of my friend or family member where i can add recipient email name message and optionally date that if i want to add this uh, in if i want to send this gift card in future date i can also mention the date so guys in this point uh, it says that you can now create different color scheme which I already showed you guys and you can apply that on your sections so you can just go to customize and then in colors you can create different color schemes and then on every section you have an option to select the color scheme just like I am on the contact form page template and in contact form section block you can you have this option to change the color scheme you can simply change it to scheme 3 or whatever color scheme you want to set so that's it for the video guys i have covered all of the latest feature which are added in dawn 10.0.0 i already created uh, this type of videos for dawn 9.0.0 and dawn 8.0.0 i'll put the link in the in the description of uh, this youtube video if you want to learn more about shopify drop me a comment below and let me know what you would like to learn until next video have a great day